Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorlini Test Prep. Today we will be going over lesson number seven on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. How many solutions with constants, multiple choice? Let's get started. So please take a minute to pause this video and read this question. So when you see these types of questions on the test, this is very similar to the questions we did in the previous lesson, lesson number six. These how many solutions questions, but you'll notice this one has a constant. H is a constant. OK, so if these questions are multiple choice, only if they're multiple choice, you can still solve these questions very easily by typing them into Desmos and using a very quick guess and check. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's do that for this one. Let's switch over to Desmos. So we're going to do 4x minus 9y equals 9y for x minus 9y equals 9y plus 5 and then the other one is hy equals 2 plus 4x so just type in the h and if you press enter it'll automatically add a slider so what you can do now is you can quickly guess and check the answer choices and use inspection to see how many solutions the system has for each H value. So let's type in negative nine. Okay, they cross one point of intersection, so that means it has one solution. Let's do the next one. Zero, H equals zero, let's try that. Okay, they cross here, still one solution, that's no good. Okay, let's try nine. Nine, okay, they cross here, still no good, one solution. And let's try 18. Ah, okay, these guys are parallel, they never cross, there's no points of intersection, so they have no solution. So this question asks us to find one with no solution, and the only one with no solution was answer choice D. Okay, we're gonna do two more now. And this was actually the only question like this I could find on the first four practice tests that have been released so far. So what I did was I took some free response questions and I converted them to multiple choice. So you could still practice this strategy because this question type is probably gonna show up again even though it only had one question. So pause this video, see if you can solve it now that you know what to do. All right, so what we're gonna do is um, we're going to type these in. And we're going to quickly see if um, they intersect using guess and check. So a negative 1.5. Y equals X squared plus X plus A. And if I press enter, it automatically adds a slider. So now I just go in order. And let's see, the first answer choice is 2.5. Okay, let's try that. 2.5. Okay, um, that looks like it crosses twice. So that would have two solutions. And this one says one real solution. One real solution. So this guy's out. Let's try seven. So just change A to seven. Okay, it also crosses twice, intersects twice. So that also has two solutions. So this one's out. Let's try 14.5. Okay, ah, uh, you see if I click on this, it just intersects at one point. And if you zoom in, it just intersects at one point. Okay, so that, is looking like our answer. So I'm gonna highlight C, it has one solution. Let's try D though, 20, just to be certain and to illustrate the idea, some more for the video. So 20. Ah, okay, so 20 has no solution, no points of intersection. So that is not the same as one solution. So, cause they don't intersect at all. So D is also wrong. <laughs> So the final answer is C. Awesome, let's do one more. 
So pause this video and see if you can solve it using Desmos now that you know what to do. OK, so I'm going to type these equations in and start using the guess and check method. So let me refresh my Desmos really quick. And it's 48x minus 72y equals 30y plus 24. So let's do that. And then we can type in the second one. Ry equals 1 sixth, 1 divided by 6. And then I press the right arrow key. Minus 16x. Minus 16x. OK, I press Enter and it automatically adds a slider. Uh, now I'm going to start guessing and checking. So let's do negative 40 for r. And that crosses over here. So that has one solution. So that is out because the question says it has no solution. So let's keep going. Let's try B, negative 34. OK, looks good. This doesn't cross anywhere. So these are parallel, so it has no solution. So it's looking like B is my answer. So why don't we just check to make sure the other ones are wrong. So if I do positive 34, Ooh, yep, crosses right there. That's one solution. And then let's do really quickly, just in the interest of time, 40. Ah, crosses right there. That's one solution. OK, so really the only one that had what we wanted was negative 34. So that's definitely our answer. C and D are both wrong. So we can confidently lock in answer choice B. Quick reminder, guys, that you will as I said before, you will see these questions as free response questions. So you can only use this guess and check strategy on multiple choice questions. You could use this to confirm your answer on a free response question. And maybe we'll go over that in a future video. But for now, let's stick to using this method for multiple choice questions, because that's where it shines the best, as you can see. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you're interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.